Elon Musk's technical relationships with other countries is worthy of being looked at. Elon Musk actively runs an empire of six companies, and its foundation is Tesla, valued at $750 billion. SpaceX is at $180 billion. Neuralink is at $5 billion. The Boring Company is about $5 billion as well. And XAI is a startup which has reportedly raised a billion dollars. Elon is increasingly important now as Tesla makes up about 1.7% of the S&P 500, which is essentially baked into several pension funds and most 401ks. But the Zynga piece which could break the skyscraper is possibly X, formerly Twitter, now valued at $15 billion. How did it get to this point? Are there other serious issues? And is this the beginning of the decline of Elon's business empire? Go f yourself. The Debt Lever Morgan Stanley, Bank of America, and Barclays loaned about $13 billion to Elon against some of Tesla stock to acquire Twitter. Valued at $44 billion, it is now reeling at $15 billion, a third of its value. Citing anti-Semitic comments from Elon, Disney, Apple, and IBM halted advertising on X. Walmart stopped as well, saying that they couldn't reach their target audience. I mean, come on, surely there's more to that story. Could this catalyze a larger collapse in the empire? And where did this all begin so we don't suffer from recency bias? The Rise When you talk about Elon, you have to acknowledge the things he's achieved. Writing algorithms to maneuver the engines to reuse rockets, scaling production on the Tesla Model 3 to 5,000 per week in a matter of months, getting FDA approval for brain chips so you can make phone calls with your mind, changing the mindset of the complete auto industry towards electrification. Some of this would sound really crazy over a decade ago. But there was one thing that was different about Elon's approach then. He still had a sense of collaboration. When SpaceX was trying to secure the government contract, Elon proposed that they position themselves as performance-based contractors. And on the other side of the table was then-President Obama. Obama was interested as this would make NASA much more efficient. You see, until this point, all contractors would propose a budget that included cost and profit. Elon played a different game. If the cost of developing and launching space cargo could be drastically reduced, the government spending on space infrastructure would reduce as well. Not only that, in order to do this, the contractor would also achieve major strides in innovation to make space technology much more efficient. Obama bought into this idea immediately. While the NASA leadership, well, SpaceX had to literally sue them to get noticed and get their first contract. Despite this hiccup, Elon played well with the big boys, at least until this point. Grifter after getting Tesla past the $1 trillion valuation mark and becoming the richest man on the planet, Elon got sucked in to politics. He was called a freeloader, a grifter by Elizabeth Warren, and this hit him deep. Growing up in a very difficult childhood, Elon knew just one way to respond to that. He hit back 10 times harder. He sold $11 billion of Tesla stock, paying the most tax a single human would in history sold all of his mansions worth millions of dollars, and then became very vocal about how he is not a grifter on every podcast he showed up on. Now, most billionaires have a massive ego. I'm not saying it's bad. You just really need to believe in executing extraordinary things if you want to build up a company to billions of dollars in revenue. Podcasts weren't the only place Elon let off steam. Twitter was another. Another attack came from Bill Gates as he declared Porsche Taycan a very cool electric car and further went on to say that electric semi-trucks weren't possible. When Elon began his venture into entrepreneurship, he actually emulated Bill Gates. He thought an engineer who builds and runs companies is better than an MBA who doesn't know how the product works. Cut to the time of Bill Gates' comments, Elon lashed out at Bill, saying he had no idea about electric vehicle capabilities further saying that his interactions with Bill were underwhelming, and a few months later even trolling him with emojis on Twitter, of course. Walter Isaacson in his book wrote, You can watch him go from being very giddy and funny to being deeply in engineering mode. And then suddenly, the dark cloud happens. It's almost like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Orbital Battles A rivalry that began in the late 90s with two budding entrepreneurs passionate about space technology amplified in August 2021. 
July 5, 2021 Jeff Bezos steps down from the CEO role of Amazon to focus on Blue Origin. In August, Blue Origin sues NASA over awarding a $2.3 billion contract to SpaceX for the lunar lander contract they were awarded. Elon, with his childish sense of humor in April, when U.S. federal court ruled against Blue Origin, responded to a tweet about the lawsuit by Blue Origin with can't get it up to orbit, lol, and a morphed picture of Blue Origin's moon lander. Interesting how SpaceX had filed a similar lawsuit to NASA when they thought they weren't awarded the contract fairly in 2014. But that unstoppable ego got into motion as soon as Elon saw a possible threat from Blue Origin to SpaceX. Tweet storms and memes ensued. Seeing a pattern already? Surely he didn't make a lot of friends at Blue Origin, Lockheed Martin, and Northrop Grumman, all of whom partnered to create the Blue Origin lunar lander design, and there are some big names there. Murky politics. Two things happened in 2022 for Elon that pushed him further away from apolitical territory, which every business person wants to be. Publicly, of course. He openly declared support for the Republican Party. The long, dramatic acquisition of Twitter was complete. First, Elon was interested. Then he became the largest shareholder. Then he looked under the hood. Then the active user seemed propped up with bots. Then Twitter sued him to complete the acquisition as he could now get in trouble with his old friends, the SEC. Yeah, after all that, Elon acquired Twitter, or in other words, had to acquire Twitter. Walter Isaacson in his book talks about how Elon would go back and forth on his Twitter decision. Some days he would be for it, and some days not so much. It didn't help that he was also trying to develop an autonomous car, redesign the Raptor engine for the world's largest rocket ship, cure disabilities with a brain chip, and build a humanoid robot at the same time. What also didn't help is that after the acquisition of Twitter, he said it would compete with news media companies with sheer spread of information from citizen journalism. Media Onslaught Citizen journalism did not bode well with the news media. Every single major news outlet starting 2022 started publishing critical pieces on Elon. Not saying that they were inaccurate, but the combination of his political slant, the idea for Twitter, and the threat to media started getting responses in the public domain. Article after article were published about who once was the poster boy of the sustainability transition would now become the person aligned with right-wing conspiracy theories. Just recently, John Oliver made sharp commentary on Elon becoming increasingly racist. Okay, so we got billionaires, the ruling party, other politicians, and the media at loggerheads with Elon, but is that the big blow? No, it's not, because as long as the business fundamentals remain on course, the empire still stands. Or does it? Is it fire resistant? One of the reasons you don't want to antagonize well, everyone, is that when things go wrong in business, as it always happens, the attacks hit 10 times harder. Two million Tesla vehicles have been recalled over the investigations into the autopilot, the same system which Elon wants to use and build robo-taxis. Robo-taxis are also baked into Tesla's massive valuations. NASA awarded an extension of the lunar lander contract we talked about for their Artemis V mission in 2029 to Blue Origin. The SEC has sued Elon over his Twitter acquisition. The FTC has sued Elon over employment discrimination. IBM, Apple, Disney, Walmart have halted advertising on X. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it could sure be destroyed in a day. Is this the end of an era or just a blip in the timescales of history? The US Inflation Reduction Act strongly favors Tesla, as it remains the leader in electric vehicle sales in the US. The Neuralink brain chip is now FDA approved for human trials. Starlink is still critical in the Ukraine war. Tesla's positive sentiment continues to rise. Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus could be the next big hit in the Elon Musk business empire. At $5,000 a pop, these could be the iRobots that would have household use throughout the entire world. It would also have software updates on the cloud and the robot capabilities would keep on increasing. Also, Blue Origin hasn't even gotten to orbit yet. Since the GFY incident for Elon, he's gone relatively quiet for a while. We don't know which way the scales will tip, but Elon Musk's business empire thrives the most whenever he shuts the f 